I'm not going to say hello because everybody does that. It's been done already, and it's not original. No hellos. Okay, we're on hello. That wasn't original either. <laughs> That's not good, because it's part of my responsibilities, and I blew it. There are a lot of good excuses that I'm sure you'd really love to hear. I started to get the notion over the past few months of that the audience maybe is afraid that the danger element disappeared and it's not going to be finished or it's not continuing, and that's totally not the case. Never stopped working on it. Uh, it's just a lot of things happened in between the uh, release of the last episode which was January 1st of 2014, almost a year ago. And now, uh, where I've actually finished episode 13, and it's being the music is being scored, which you probably didn't know, so it'll be released very soon. I guess uh, to something of a reward for some of you guys that have said in the past that the episodes are too short, this one's gonna be much longer than normal. It's probably about twice as long as the longest episode. It's like 22 minutes or something. If you don't fight with me, you won't hurt. I guess maybe one of the reasons that I haven't done an update on the project in so long is it because it seems like uh, more and more often I, I don't have much to say that isn't uh, more personal than it has to do with the project. Really the project is mostly personal so I can't, I mean I can't think of very much that I could say that it affects the project that isn't personal. So I guess I'll just tell you some of the stuff that's happened over the past year and part of last year, which is why you probably haven't heard from me so much. It's gonna be pretty boring. So any of you guys that have kept up with the making of the danger element, you probably realize sort of the dynamic of, of how it's been made. Uh, there's been the, the period of time where I was freelance and I didn't have a full-time job and I had all the time in the world to work on it, but not as many resources. So everything went really slowly. And then there was the period of time where I had a full-time job and I had all the resources I needed to work on it, but didn't have enough time to work on it. So everything went really slowly. What you probably don't know about, because I haven't said anything since this happened, is that I kind of finished my, my run at my last job and was immediately offered a job by Doug Tenaple, who, if any of you are old enough, will remember Doug Tenaple and I worked together on a project that he wrote uh, back in the pre-YouTube era, back in 2003, called Sock Baby. And then for years, probably, I guess about a decade, is probably exactly what it is, but like a decade later, uh, Doug calls me up and he offers me this job. That's editing animatics for a DreamWorks animation TV show. I ended my last job, which was in California, close to everything that I know. I had to pack up and move about 2,500 miles away from home. DreamWorks is pretty new to TV. I don't know how much I'm allowed to say, but I'm going to say it anyway. The show that I'm, I started working on when I got this job was like the first show that they had out of the gate. So a lot of the procedures were being sort of invented. And long story short, I I had no time for anything else. Like this job just became like my whole life. But uh, I haven't had time, barely any time to work on Danger Element, let alone make one of these update videos to let you know how it's going, which is a terrible thing because I promised to do that years and years and years ago when I started this project. Things have lightened up a little bit now and I'm able to, to work this in. I guess what I can say now is episode 13 is gonna be done this year. I wanted it to be done last year because it's episode 13 and I had come up with this fantastic marketing plan where I was going to say episode 13 is coming out in 2013 and I was going to have like all these things that said 13 and 13 and it was going to be really cool and then 2013 ended and it still wasn't finished so now it's 13 and 14 which isn't as cool. 
An interesting thing that happened was on this project, in the last days of shooting Day Development, which was this two week chunk of time where we filmed every single day, I, I worked with more people during that time than I ever had all at once. I spent all my time with these people and I couldn't have made it happen without them. In the post-production process, there, there wasn't the, this is probably a learning experience for me. The post-production process did not have as much planning going into it, so it really just kind of mostly came down to me. You saw like in episode 10, I think, like where Hal did that amazing effects sequence. Like, but a lot of the effects are done by me. Some of the, some of the effects, uh, mostly the eye, rotoscoping is done by Connor Anderson. All these people are like all over the world. The post-production process seems like a much more isolated process where there's really only one person working on it at any given time compared to the onslaught of production where I don't know how many people we have on the set. I think the most is probably about 20 at one time. But I think it slows the process down quite a bit just because, you know, if I'm the guy that's working on it, I gotta go to work for eight hours a day and then I'm too tired to work on it and nothing gets done. So this spot right here constitutes my entire post-production suite for the Danger Island. It's completely mobile. It's been the same since 2000, whatever. But it makes it so that I can carry it around and move it all across the country. I can edit on airplanes, whatever. I've got like an office here, which is unusual. In the nine months since I've been here, I've mostly been working on sequences like this, which uh, there are a few of them in episode 13. And since normally only a loyal 500 or so of you watch these update videos, I'm willing to show you this little bit. I did all this in After Effects, which I learned to use last year. It's amazing, because I would normally do this in Photoshop, frame by frame. Being as the production schedule was so tight during those last couple of weeks, uh, there were certain shots that we didn't do purposely because they didn't involve the principal cast and I just didn't film other things that I knew that I could get somewhere else. One of them was an insert shot that you'll see in episode 13. It's implying that Fortunate is putting the Danger Element inside of, a, inside of this some kind of machine. To do that, I just built this, this little prop. It's, it's breaking apart, but out of, it's built out of foam core and electrical tape and bolts and things, and I just glued them together. And, uh, it's, I laid it down on the side and made it look like Vorchen and my cat's like destroying it. it. Made it look like Vorchen's putting the thing in from the side, but it's, it was shot like this, turned the, sand, the camera sideways and everything. But uh, that's how we did that. The other main thing that had to be done uh, for post-production was uh, dialogue replacement. Because uh, you know, we work really fast and we don't have any budgeted time to do any kind of retakes or anything like that so a lot of times we just record sound and if anything happens to screw it up we just keep going and I, I do audit, I do dialogue replacement later. One of the things I started using for that was this little digital audio recorder that Ben Beams bought one of these and then he showed it to me and I thought it was amazing. It's like the best microphone I've ever owned. That could mean whatever you want it to mean. <laughs> Maybe I found some bad microphones, but it's really good. So that's where I'm at with this, guys. I hope that at least you're relieved to hear that I haven't abandoned you and that I'm actually going to finish the series. I'm really sorry for the cliffhangers that I've put you through for the past six years, but it's almost over, <laughs> I promise. Hopefully the next time you hear from me will be after the series is finally completed and I'll have something different to talk about for once. Thanks for hanging in there and thanks for supporting me through all of this and for supporting West Havenbrook. We could have done it without you. See you next time. Alone again. <laughs> alone. If I help you get the danger element back, you're going to help me save my father. Your father's dead. Not for long.